Okay, for this question then, we've got to disprove this statement by a counterexample. That is that if m and n are irrational numbers, where m doesn't equal n, then m times n is irrational. And what I'm going to do is give you three examples, for instance, just to uh, show you how this can be done. The first example is just to take an irrational number. First one that springs to mind, for instance, is say the square root of 2. And you could just now take any multiple of root 2, like for instance 3 root 2. And working backwards, if you were to think of 3 root 2 as being the square root then of 3 squared, which is 9, and just times the irrational number root 2, okay, we can think of it as the root of 9 times 2. Square root of 9 then is 3, and then you just got the square root of 2. And this is exactly the same as the square root of 18. So what we've got here is the square root of 18 is an irrational number based on root 2, okay? So, what you'll notice now is if I take the root 2 here and multiply it with the irrational number root 18, we now have the square root of 2 times 18, 36 in other words, which we can get the exact square root from, which is going to be 6. A rational number, not irrational. Okay? Look, let's do another one. Again, let's think of an a rational number, let's say root 3 instead of root 2. So if we've got root 3 here, think of another multiple of root 3. Let's say we take 3 root 3. Okay, 3 root 3. Where does that take us? Okay, well, this came from the square root of 3 squared, this 3 squared here, which would be 9, times the 3. Okay. And 9 threes, 27. So, therefore, you've got the root of 27 would be an irrational number. And the nice thing is now that if you do root 3 times the root of 27, you end up with the square root of 3 times 27, which is 81. And as we know, the square root of 81 is 9, a rational number. So, what I'm doing then is taking any irrational number from its root, okay, you could use root 5 if you wanted to as another example, and then multiply it with a multiple of that rational number, okay, and you should find got a good example there to give. I did say I'll give you three examples, so I'll give you another one here, totally different now. This one here is for instance, if you took the well-known irrational number pi and you multiplied it, for instance, with 1 over pi, those pi's would cancel and it would just leave you with 1. Okay, so here we go. Then we've got three examples. And if you were to write a, a conclusion, then you can see that. So if m and n are irrational numbers, then m times n is not always irrational. Okay?